to be tackling a makeover that I have had in the back of my mind for a very long time now. And that is this upstairs hallway space. This upstairs hallway has got five doors, five. Three of them lead to the bedrooms. One of them is a guest bathroom. And then one of them is to an electrical closet. There is zero natural light in this space and all of the doors are the same dark orange wood tone that we encountered downstairs in our entryway makeover. The biggest thing that I really want to tackle with this space is one, brightening it up, but two, adding in extra storage in order to help the bathroom and the bedrooms function better. There's literally one storage closet in the entire house that does not belong to like a bedroom for clothing. And I've been making do. <laughs> um, we added in a chest at the end of the bed for uh, all the linen currently. So that's where we keep our towels. That's where we keep our extra bedding. And it has helped a lot for getting all that out of the closets where they originally were. But it's been on the back of my mind to create a dedicated linen space. So when I came across this picture on Pinterest, I was like, that's what I need. That is the answer to all of my problems. So then I was on the hunt for a piece like that and I found it at an estate sale for $12. $12. Isn't that insane? So that's what we're going to be doing today. We are going to be cleaning up the hallway, caulking it, painting it, brightening up the doors, and then we're going to be fixing up that armoire that I found and putting it right where I'm standing to create a linen cabinet in this hallway. I have a lot of work to do. <laughs> so let's go get started. <laughs> the chickens and roosters are going off right now. So if you hear them, I'm sorry. <laughs> they are like going nuts. I don't know why. Please ignore my absolute horde of furniture in the carport. <laughs> I will get to it one day. Today is not that day. Today, we're focusing on this guy, which when I say he might be my absolute favorite find in the estate sale, he might be it. And it was exactly like my inspiration photo with the long wardrobe cabinet and then the drawers on the other side. And I think this piece is gonna be perfect for our linen cabinet. But first, we've got to clean this guy up. He definitely has some work to do. The mirror is pretty dirty, and I'm not positive how much of that's actually going to come off. There's like some sticker residue down here, and he's a little beat up, and there's paint on the hinges. It's, it's just like a whole, there's a whole list of stuff. But we're going to do our best to bring this guy back to life. On the plus side, I love the hardware that it came with. It's got like these vintage looking brass knobs that are just gorgeous. And so I'm super excited to keep those. Now, we are going to sand it down a little bit just to clean it up, but we're not gonna sand it down to raw wood because the sides are actually panel. Can you hear that? They're not wood. I don't want to go through the panel or weaken it at all, and so we're just going to scuff up the parts that are wood, and then we're going to paint it. Just go ahead and take a wild guess what color we're going to paint it. We're going to paint it black. <laughs> I mean, you know I'm going to paint it black. Yeah, I just, it's just going to look so good. So that's what we're going to do. And now it is time to see what kind of spiders are hiding in here for me.
happy with the strokes and the brush marks that are showing up and part of that is because it had a lot of those brush strokes before um, with the red and I guess sanding it didn't do a great job but I'm going to give it a scuff sand in between coats so um, I'm going to do one more scuff sand and then give it its final coat and hopefully that will smooth everything out. And then I also need to add uh, the wax on the inside to try to give us a barrier between the wood and any linens that we decide to put in here. I'm going to go ahead and wax the inside instead of like leaning over wet paint. Go ahead and wax the inside down. Give it its final coat of paint. And this guy should be almost ready for upstairs. these five doors and then the molding and the molding at the baseboards as well it's gonna be a lot of caulking but it makes a huge difference I saw that in our entryway makeover so I'm excited to do it here I just have to get started <laughs> the trim back here all the way around <laughs> I just finished all of that and also the doorways and so now I want to let that dry and um, then I'm going to come back and paint all five of these doors <laughs> I was up pretty late last night finishing caulking, painting, all the doors, all the trim. It took a really long time, but it is all done now. And so now I'm gonna add the finishing touches to my piece of furniture outside. I got these wheels off of Amazon. They came with all the hardware that I needed and they look like vintage brass, which I love. So we're gonna be adding these to the bottom of our furniture piece.
way easier than I thought it was going to be. I thought that there was no support down there and that we were gonna have to put a block up in there but it actually had enough wood to be able to just go ahead and drill a hole and put them in so that's exciting now we get to put on the rest of the hardware and then we get to put this guy where it goes yes okay so we got this up here yesterday and honestly i kind of just stared at it for a long time because it's a little different than what i was expecting so i measured this way to where i knew it would fit and not block this door and it would fit within this molding and i knew that it was deep and would block a lot of this door but i just didn't expect for it to look so much like it's just blocking a door. I don't know what I was expecting. I guess I thought like once I painted the door white and kind of put this furniture here, like, I, I don't know. I kind of just expected it to blend in a little better. And to me, it kind of looks like I'm just blocking a door, even though it's okay because of what that is. It's also part of why I put it on wheels. One, I wanted to give it some height and two, it makes it easier to move in order to like service the uh, unit that's in there. And it's not tied up against this. There's plenty of room for it to breathe. So like technically this is fine. It's just the look of it is, it's bothering me a little more than I thought it would. That being said, this is gonna give us so much storage up here for linens and bathroom things and I mean, it's just so needed and this is such a waste of space if we don't use this here. So I'm just torn. Just let me know your thoughts on this because I'm very torn and this may wind up in a different room um, at this point. But I'm going to try to style it and live with it and just see how I feel about it. So let's get it cleaned up. Let's clean up the glass. Let's style it. Let's fill it and uh, see how we feel. Okay, the first thing that I want to do is, do you remember these cedar blocks from one of my recent Thrift With Me videos? I found these in an estate sale and these are cedar blocks which help prevent uh, moths and other insects from like eating your clothes. So we're gonna put these in the bottom of this armoire in order to protect our linens and things. I want to keep the styling of this really simple since we might potentially be sliding this around. So I just have this long basket that I got at this like little, um, I guess it's like a thrift shop, but it was, it was different. It was so cool. I'll have to do a video there sometime because it was a super cool place, but I found this basket for $5 and it's a great basket. And so I think I'm just going to pop it on the top here and, um, it can kind of catch any excess stuff or we could put out stuff specifically for guests or um i don't know it might just look nice up there give it a little bit more height a little difference of texture but it's something that could easily kind of just sit there and balance there without leaning against the wall or like tipping over so i think this will be good to put up there Last thing to do is just load it up with our linens and different necessities. Alright, here's a little reminder of what this space looked like before. It was dark, it was dingy, there was a little bit of a yellow tint to it, the molding on it really needed to be caulked and finished, and overall it was just kind of dark and depressing. 
here's what this space looks like now. And that is it for our upstairs hallway makeover. Before, all of the doors were so dark, so orange. There's like a yellow tint in this hallway. There's no natural light, still no natural light. But now it feels so much brighter. We've added storage that was not here before. We've really just made this space so much more functional and so much more beautiful when you walk up the stairs. I'm still not sure if this will stay here permanently just because I'm not sure how I feel about that situation over there, but I think we are gonna live with it for a little bit and just see how we feel. We might wind up planning a custom shelving or storage solution that fits better and doesn't block so much of the door. We're, we're gonna figure it out, but I just wanted to share with you how you can take secondhand finds like this $12 armoire and a little bit of paint and make a really big difference in your home, both aesthetically and functionally. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work and we'll move it <laughs> and it's okay. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe so that way you don't miss out on future videos from me and I will see you next time. Bye.